on your zero. It's a platform to make IoT devices work with ambient energy in an easy way. Right. It's a way where you don't have to invest a lot of board real estate or a lot of bill of material to make it happen. It's simple, it's easy, it's a framework that developers know and they're accustomed with. It's a full-blown microcontroller. Hello IPXers, we are at CES 2025 and we are with Vemund. Vemund? Yes. Yes, from Onio. So, first of all, tell us a little bit about Onio and tell us, tell us about powerless computing, powerless processing. All right. Because that's what you do. Yes, uh, good summary. So, what, what Onio makes is a wireless microcontroller with built in power management that can run directly off harvested energy. Good. Demo. He tells me he put this together just for me for this demo. So I'm gonna bring it up to camera. I'll bring it up to this camera because then Rihanna can tell me when she can actually see it and it goes into focus. Ready, steady, go. There we go. He says he did that just for me. Men with beards can't be trusted. Right, tell me, because that said IP exchange. Yes. Tell me what is going on there, how that's being powered and why that's clever. Okay. So obviously it's clever because we made it. I knew you were going to say I knew <laughs> I knew man with beard was going to say that. I think we'll start on the backside. So we have an Exeger power foil uh, solar cell. Uh, this is a hybrid solar cell, works indoor, outdoor. And what we simply want to show is that with just a cell on the back, our chip, we can drive a screen, we can read a sensor, and it's instantaneous on. So we have the screen and our chip, and it, it's to show kind of the high level of integration that we have on our chip as i said it's a from solar cell to real application solution there's nothing in between and as we're running directly from right. the energy source right so let's go into this mysterious world of no power energy harvesting yes energy harvesting we all know the cliche of uh, the the channel changer you yep. shake it it turns on we get rid of batteries yep. That world has been desperately trying to push through the envelope. Yep. It's been desperately trying to find a place in the world. Yeah. For all sorts of, whether it be political reasons, be it for ecological reasons, be it for social reasons, that's that's come up against a stop. That that's not breaking through where it wanted to break through. Yeah. You gave an example before we before we started chatting. Yeah. 45 years ago, TI had a calculator, it had a solar cell, yep. and it worked. Yeah. And you went 45 years. Yeah and now we're still where we are. Exactly. So explain to our community yep. how we're gonna get through that so that they, because I think the reality is energy harvesting companies are betting on billions of devices in uh, IoT, home, you know, smart buildings, where there's only millions of these things that are sitting mm. and waiting, and that's just not coming to fruition. That's just not coming to fruition. Yep. I'm not saying it won't. No. Nope. It just practically isn't today. And I think a lot of what you're touching on there is really making it like the calculator. It's an application. It was made to do that thing. And what we cannot do with old IoT systems is to make one thing that does just that. We need, you need to make a platform. And that's what I feel we have done with Onio Zero. It's a platform to make IoT devices work with ambient um, energy in an easy way. Right. It's a way where you don't have to invest a lot of board real estate or a lot of bill of material to make it happen. It's simple, it's easy, it's a framework that developers know and they're accustomed with. It's a full-blown microcontroller. Yeah. That, that's what really needs to happen to make this market, market catch on, is to say, well... You... So it can't just be the energy harvesting bit, can it? No. That's not enough. You can't just say, I'm, I'm gonna have a device in an IoT, oh, Oh, and isn't it clever? It, it, it harvests energy and it's got its own power. Wow, I've done my job. What you're saying is, oh no, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. It's got to do more than that. It has to do more than that. And there's also a lot of benefits in doing more than that. Because since we control the analog front end for the solar cell in this application, we control the PMIC, the micro, and eventually the Bluetooth radio, it means that they're all tailored to fit together to do this application. What you'll see in the market is, and which is a huge problem, is that nobody is addressing the A to C experience. They're addressing yes. the PMIC, they're addressing the analog front end, yes, or so the microcontroller. Yes, there's no ecosystem behind it. And there's no coherent thought behind it. And right. that's one of the benefits that we could have 
we, from day one, this was our focus, and we can focus on anything from the power source to the wireless or to the sensor. So right. it was one coherent idea where everything works together and it's easy to use and it's simple to use. And that is what will make billions of devices. Right. You, as the CTO of Onio, you're yep. saying, well, the, the PMIC is just one bit of it, but there's yep. the processing bit of it, there's the communication bit of it. Yep. And for this to work, there's got to be an ecosystem where it's all interconnected so that you get a seamless seamless system yeah. so that it all works. So today, yep. we're struggling saving energy wherever it is, whether or not we're saving the planet or whether we're doing something efficiently, yeah. it's still something that we viably have to make happen. Exactly. So where do you see viably your solution working in the future where that seamless from, from the harvesting bit there yep. to the processing bit there yep. to the screen bit there, yep. where do you see that seeing its most success with Onio? I think one of the biggest successes we have is definitely within asset tracking. Yep. Right. There's a bunch of high value goods today that are being shipped around with big clunky electronics on it. Yes. I think personal computer equipment like keyboard mouse I think is definitely on the, our radar to make happen. And then there's a lot of smart buildings, smart house, sensors, buttons, thermostats that are at least in my smart home, I'm changing batteries full time. Yes. That's a full time job to just keep it running. Yes. And I'm I have an interest in that and I'm happy to do it. But for the regular Joe or for a janitor, he can't be running around changing batteries. It, it it's a no go, it's a no starter. Yeah. And that's why you need a solution like this. Right, right. So so you see your 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 process and so that if you take if, if you take the asset tracking, just let's yep. just use asset tracking. Yeah. It's well, or, or indeed actually the mouse, because yep. where you've got there is you don't want to have batteries inside it, but you need it to be ready to be on when it's when you want it to be on. Yeah. In the same way that that screen turned Correct. on when you wanted it to turn exactly. on. Exactly. So it's it's harvesting the energy. So you were using ambient light there yep. to get the light in. Yep. When you wanted when you wanted to power up the screen, you yep. were ready to go. Yep. So if you take the asset tracking example, yep. you've got a very high value good set sat in a warehouse or in transit yep. or wherever, yep. and you need to know where it is. And your point is you need that whole ecosystem. It's not yes. about the PMIC, it's not about the solar cell. It's not about, the, it's about the whole thing. Yeah. It's got to be ready to harvest the energy, yeah. do its processing power, yeah. and then get the information off system. Exactly. And that's what Onio does. Exactly. And, and, and to your point, I think what we have gotten accustomed to is these systems being highly complex, highly expensive, and we're just living with them. And for this to really catch on, it, it has to be more integrated. It has to be easier to use and it has to be more elegant because pick your asset tracking company, take your Deutsche uh, Postal Service, take uh, UK Mail, the Norwegian Postal Office, they're not electronics experts. They no. can get a third party to do it, but even that third party will in many cases struggle to make an integrated tag and that's why they need a very strong focus and we need a very strong focus as an industry on the ease of use aspect of these things. Yes, and an end-to-end -end and solution because yes. you know energy harvesting has been with us what now ten years, and from from what I can see and from all the information that's going on, you know, the PMIC companies are very good at what they do. Yep. They are very. There's nothing wrong with what they are doing. They are doing yep. a good job. They yep. are harvesting the energy. Yep. They're managing the power, mm -hmm. but they're not pushing through the envelope. It's not. They're not getting over the line in other applications other than the channel changer. Yeah. Which you know that's their the idea of selling millions and millions of those is brilliant for them yep. but the problem is there's only so many channel changes applications that you can go after yep. and what you're saying is the secret to that yep. is having like the asset track yep. you have to be able to do the whole thing yes the whole thing yeah because I I imagine you're sa saying that hey i'll sell you the pmic i didn't sell you a solution no i sold you a problem uh, yes i sold you a component within something yeah but i i pointed out to the problem by selling you that component only i just pointed to the problem the rest you'll figure out which they can't well then and they haven't got time as i said that's a problem yeah yeah so you have to say a b z and z all the letters you provide those it's an alphabet and yeah. that's something people can work with they can understand but if you're just saying a few of the letters 
it becomes garbled. It's not a message. Yeah. So how do you set up Onio to say, I'm going to, you know, you partnered with, we're, we're, we're on Exigence booth yep. here, so they've got that bit of it there. Yep. Um, you then obviously offer the, the processing power that sits behind that screen. Yep. What's the environment? So I'm an engineer and, yep. I, and I go, Vaymond is right. Okay. I get what he's saying. Yeah. Okay. What, how do they interact with you in order to understand the integration between the, the power source, the management, the processor, the display, and then let's say the, the, the getting off system and communication? Mm -hmm. What's the environment that Onio offer? So what we offer is typically we sit down with the customer and we want to understand the problem. And by understanding the problem, we figure out what, what's the end goal for them and where can we add the value. And we sit down with our application team and we then scope that out. And we typically start by making a proof of concept, just something very small for them to understand and appreciate. And then you have something to iterate on. You can have a dialogue, you can come with feedback. And that's really where, again, there is no point letting people be to their own vices and with their own problem. You need to sit down with the customer, understand the problem, solve the problem, and give give the ecosystem again something to iterate around. Yeah, and that's what we do. So we we we, we tend to favor to so, sit so, down with the customer. So just outside. so we reiterate it. Yeah. Just so we reiterate it for the yeah. for, for for the watcher. Yeah. Your point. Yes. And I I, I like that. Let's not pick out the poor old PMIC companies. No. It sounds like we're we're picking on them. No. But let's just say you can't do this in isolation. No, because the moment you know, if you're the, let's 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 pick on them. Yeah. Let's pick on them. Yeah. Rather than the payment companies. Okay. Um, if you're them. Yeah. And you go, I I can give you the power source. Yeah. Your point is that's just giving them a problem. Yeah. Because then they've got to work out how that power source becomes up becomes yeah. something real. Yeah. In the application. Yeah. So now I've got to work out. Oh my goodness, how do I go and find a MCU company who's small enough, using low enough power? Yeah. Well, good luck wander around CES for the next yeah. 16 years yeah. and you might stumble across one. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. And then and then it's got to maybe have a display and yeah. maybe it's got to have a communication. Yeah. And that's just a problem yeah. if you're an asset tra tracking company. Yeah. And what you're saying is Onio will give you a complete solution. To, I take it through partnership as well as... It could be. As, but, but, but again, you need, as, as a company, Onio in this, this particular, we, we as a company or through partners need to provide this solution. There is no point to say we made the PMIC or we made the micro or we made this. It, it has zero value. Yeah, you've got to have the whole thing. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I think we've we, we, we completed our chat. Perfect. Thank you for showing the IPX logo on your display. <laughs> of course. Let's just do that. do that. Let's just do that again. Turn it around. There please. we go. Yeah. It's almost as though I know what I'm doing. Most important thing about that display actually was the point that the moment you hit the button, that display came straight on. There was no latency at all. Correct. That was the point that you were making, Correct. which is why you put the IPX logo uh, or words on there. How to do that? Um, so. I think the reason why we had this discussion was we started at the energy harvesting discussion. Yeah. And we said, energy harvesting is absolutely fantastic. Energy yeah. harvesting is part of the components that's going to help us as human beings save the planet. I think but, that's correct. But right. the problem is, unless you have the whole solution, that energy harvesting pitch is not going to push through the envelope nope. and reach a, a, a tipping point. Correct. A tipping point. I think that's a good statement. Yeah? Yeah. So in order to get to the tipping point, yeah. you as CTO of Onio say, there's a reason why it's not pushing through the tipping point. It's because you have to have a whole solution like that. That means that, uh, that an asset tracking, tracking company can go, got it, let's go. Let's track that very expensive item. Uh, asset tracking company should be asset tracking, not making hardware. Yes. Good. Yeah. Thank you. Perfect. Nice to talk to you, Guy. Very good. Perfect.